presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hey, Robert, how you doing, man? Yes, good, and thank you for taking my call. I wanted to let you know that I've been a subscriber for a couple of years, just different members of your team, and I really enjoy it. But really the reason I'm calling is to express my sincerest gratitude for you providing that information information yesterday on the small business grant. I'm a small business owner and primary breadwinner for my family. And if I can get that money, it's going to really mean a lot to my family. So that's awesome. Thank you for uh, taking the time to do that. No, well, well, listen, man, we appreciate you growling a problem with us. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We are five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks, and a great week. Don't take anything personally. Ignore the opinions of others. Whatever people do, Feel, think, or say, don't take it personally. Others are going to have their own opinions according to their belief system, so whatever they think about you is not about you, but is about them. That's a, that's a tricky card, man. <laughs> Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 114, NASDAQ off 241, S&P's off 35, gold contract flat, 19.2260 an ounce. Silver also flat, $24.50 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 464 at 97.32. Notes and bonds. A 10 year note down seven ticks at 120.22. The 30 year off a full point at 145.14 in King Dollar. King Dollar's up 131 ticks, trading out at 99.601. Euro 109. Yen is at 123.77. And the British pound is at 120, no, 130 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. Let's get over to the futures because this is really cool where we are, folks. Okay, so we got a down market all day. You had the Fed minutes come out. Uh, that's the wrong future. Okay, here we go. So we had the Fed minutes come out. Bottom line, sank the market. Well, first, what it did, and this is what's really cool about what we're doing right at the second. So what it did is that you had the spike higher. Okay, so the, the spike higher that we're talking about is that when it came out, the spike high was 44.95. Now, you can see what's going on. We are, right now, we're nine minutes into this bar. So you're gonna have a failure on price and a failure on volume. If you day trade, folks, okay, put, put it this way. Time of the trade works, whether it's a daily, weekly, monthly, you just see more if you're day trading inside it. This is gonna be a classic here, okay? So at the end of this bar, okay, which is still one more minute. It still could make it, okay? The bottom line is that it would have to make 44.95. Now, if it doesn't make 44.95, that's a failure in price and volume. And where you can expect the first move to go is this. See this bar that got registered out here uh, 40 minutes ago? That bar is 4481. So you can see the volume on that bar. Now that bar there is 61,000 contracts. Okay, so we already just failed. What will happen next is it's gonna go into the top of that bar, which is the 4481. And you're gonna need more volume in order to get to lower price. This is how this is kind of set up. So it's gonna be cool watching this whole thing shake out. My, my take is that, yeah, we already failed the first one. We'll see how this shakes out. Um, and we'll go from there, man. We take a look at the. Uh, and NQs, NQs, same type of setup. Now you gotta remember something, that the NQs are weaker than the S&P. So if we take a look at the NQs, what we have here, this is, okay. So inside the NQs, it's the same number. The, the, the spike high there was uh, 14,634. Uh, we had 30, 38,000 contracts. Well, we got over it and we closed under it with 19,000. Bottom line, it's the same number. See how that big spike right there? On the way back down, 16,574 uh, would give it a little support. 
bottom line, we'll see where this baby shakes out. My take is that we're going south once again. And we'll, we'll know really quick because what ends up happening when you get bars like that and you get a failure, it'll come back down, try to get into it. If there's, if there's too much, if the volume is too light on the way down, guess what? You're going right back top side. So nice setup, man. Nice setup. Gold. Gold contract out here. We take a look at gold. Gold continues to go sideways. Light volume. This is all about the good old U.S. dollar. You know, bottom line is that dollar stays high. Gold's going to go sideways. Right now, you get uh, 145,000 contracts. You're going sideways. You're trading out here at uh, 1926. We get a, we take a look at the silver market. What do you have with the silver market? Same thing, flat market. And that is trading out here at a price point of 2454. Um, this this is pretty cool. This is rejected. You, you can see what it's doing. The last week when we went down on the 29th, that's a high volume spike high, spike low rather, and that's what it's trying to get into. If we take a look at this, and there we go, you'll see that we have uh, 43,000 contracts. You're going into 76,000 contracts. So you're going to need a lot more contract volume to break that baby. We get over to the good old King Dollar. We take a look at King Dollar. King Dollar. Bottom line, couldn't handle higher price yesterday. Came off it. Guess what? You're over it. Bottom line, we'll see where this sh is shaking. But you stay. if we stay over this for a bit of time, meaning three, four, five days, then what is game is that next high out there, which is 102.7, uh, uh, plus 102.992. We look at some of the higher volume, and we are. So what is going to happen already is this. No matter where the S&P goes today, meaning if, if I'm right in the context, it's going to go back down versus basically, you know, being a nice bull and going all the way higher. You're going to have a high volume low. We have volume in this market out here in a big way. So we reached a lower price. You're going to have volume. Um, if we take a look at the, let's just take a look at the SPY because when you set this up, what you have is that you can see that's 80. Oh, you got a small ABC down, man. Oh, yeah, this is even better. This is cool. Okay, so let's do this. That's 462 to 450. Okay, 449. You know, 13 is uh, it's 457, 47, 43. What did we hit? Okay, we hit. Oh, man, look at that. Now, this is cool, too. Did you see what happened here? This was a small ABC down, and it hit the, uh, the D point right on, too. I mean, in a monster way. But you can see from the volume already, you get a high volume spike lower. So uh, that is on the indices. I mean, that is on the SPY. It's on the Qs. And you can see, just looking at the, high, the volume right now, it's 605. This is going to do about 1.2, 1.3 billion and the NYSE, and I suspect the NASDAQ is going to be a monster. Let's see what the monster is. Right now, yeah, we're at 4. Point, look at it. We're at 4.1. What we did yesterday was 4.6. The, the NASDAQ will probably do 5 billion shares. So you're going to have a lower price, higher volume, no matter what the market does right now. Dow Industrials right now are down 79. NASDAQ's off 239. S&Ps are off 30. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TESS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500 plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is down 101. Nasdaq's off 257. S&P's off 36. Let's go to George in Newport, Richie. Hey, George, what's going on, brother? Hello, Tom. How, How you doing, you? man? Can you hear me? I can, yeah. Excellent. All right, so I would like you to please uh, have a look at uh, CTRA and BP, and please tell me what do you think would be the best, the better buy for uh, the next year or so. I like to hold one of them for at least one year. Okay, so you get CTRA, which is Cotera Energy. Uh, they operate diversified energy company, develop oil, gas. Let's see. Okay, so revenue-wise, well, they're going to do quite a bit of revenue, man. <laughs> they're going from three. They must have just bought someone. They're going from three point four billion to six point five billion, huh? So, what do they just buy someone? Yeah, they 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 had two companies they combined. I forget the name of the other company, but that's what okay. they did last okay, cool. year, like okay, in November so let's, let's of twenty twenty one. Take a look at a monthly. Okay, so you got action. That's for sure. So you're over this. Okay, so you get over that. You didn't. 28 is that bottom. 14 is pretty good. It's 28, 38, 44 bucks. Okay, so you got a, you got a you got a shot for that going to the high. This one here, 44 bucks. Let me just see. Yeah, so the high for the year is only 29. Okay, and the second one you want to look at, we'll, we'll compare one. I just want to. What's the second one? Is it British British Petroleum? Yeah, yeah, the other one is the British Petroleum BP. The stock symbol. Yep. Okay. So this baby here. No, no, okay, I got this, something wrong. British Petroleum. I'll get it, just give me one second. Okay. British Petroleum, where are you? I don't get it. I should know this by heart. Oh, here we go. I got it. Okay. Oh, I had it. That's weird. Okay, it just looks different. Okay, so let's take a look at this. You got British Petroleum. The low is 22. The high is 34. This is paying a 4.4% dividend. Hmm. 
Yeah, and this one's lower price. This one's, this is really interesting, man. You got an oil company that wants lower price. Yeah, British Petroleum, I mean, I, I like the high that's laying out here at 33, but this thing wants lower price right now, man. It looks to me like it's gonna come to the lower end of this consolidation, which is 27. You know, the, the, what I would do here, George, right? Just, just hang tough for a while. If you're gonna buy something for a year, man, I would just, you know, let this market lay out here for two or three months before you do anything, man. This market wants lower price in a big way. And so everything's going to go south. You know? Okay. Don't step in the middle of this market, man. It's just, it's, yeah. You're going to be a lot happier holding your cash. Cash, folks, is going to be king extraordinaire. That's, that's, that's what Tom O'Brien says. Cash is king. I love it. Cash and, is uh, king, man. Tom, <laughs> we love you. Thank you so much for your help. You have I'll, a great uh, one, George, and have a safe one, man. Okay, cool. Let's go to our man, John in Philly. John, what's going on, brother? John hung up. That's all right. We know what he wants. So he wants IYT. So that, this is the uh, transportation shares, which are getting smoked beyond belief. You, well, here, want to see something? J.B. Hunt, because I, I, I follow these in a big way, folks, okay? You get J.B. Hunt. Watch this. J.B. Hunt has given up a year and all of five days. Well, I guess no, more than five days. But look at look at this. It's a mess. It's we're going into recession, man. That's the bottom line. It's you know, um, this thing came down with volume. Well, here let me look. I'll pull up the one that he wants to look at. IYT. Yeah. So this is breaking the whole consolidation. Let me put this on a three-year weekly. Yeah, you break. This is intense. Okay, so, okay, it hasn't broke yet. But look, oh, look, so look at this. When we talk, you know, I, I use the term, folks, building cars a lot. John, are you there? Nope, I lost him. Okay, so I use the term break, uh, building cars a lot, folks, okay? It's, what building cars is like, it's just like you're working out, you're working out, you're working out, then you got the competitive contest ready to go, right? You can see the volume. The volume expansion in IYT is like insane. You're talking about 2.3 million coming into a swing point that only had uh, 900,000. That's going to blow that away. And then the next level down here is going to be 203 or 245. You know, so this thing's a mess and in a monster way. So, yeah, lower prices. Are you there, John? I am here. How you doing, man? Very good. good. Uh, Tom, thanks for pulling up the uh, Dow, uh, Dow Jones Transports ETF. IYT. Very specific question for you, Tom. As uh, you look at the abrupt decline here the past uh, seven, eight trading days, yep. we've come right back to lows of uh, February and last September. The uh, As you look at things, the very specific question, do you see it likely that this bounces strong or just plows lower under these lows of February and September? I think it's going to break it and get down to 203. Yeah. But this volume is extraordinary, John. See, see the volume? I was just talking about a building cause. This, Indeed. This, this volume is insane, okay? This thing's going to break and get to the next level. And the next level is 203. You answered my question, sir. That's all I needed. Thanks so much. Okay, cooking, brother. Have a great one. Have a safe one. You know what blows my mind, folks, okay? Evidently, this is what it is happening you know, when you're a little bit older and you've seen cycles. I can't believe how many people think that the Fed can raise rates like this and pull back and something is not going to happen to the economy. It's like, what are we talking about here, man? But I, I can't understand it. The reason I can't understand it, because I was around in 94 when they did it. I saw, so picture in 94, this would happen in 94, folks, is that then the bond market, the bond market was always big. But then, flat out, is that if you bought bonds, you were supposed to never lose money in your life. That's kind of how the mantra was, on, you know, in the financial business, okay? Well, guess what? More people lost more money so quick in 94, it was unbelievable. And what ended up happening, I was still, I was in the market, but I was basically my own market because I was buying and selling bankrupt bonds, okay? So what happens in times like that the the spreads are bigger so you know your opportunity of making money goes exponential okay 
And I mean, I'm telling you, man, I saw people just getting smoked. And you're talking about folks that don't supposed to get smoked because of the fact that bonds. And what ended up happening, just every single quarter, they were going up a, a quarter point, quarter point, quarter point, quarter point, quarter point, quarter point. Quarter point. I think they did it eight times. Man. And if you don't think the Fed's going to basically crush this inflation, okay, um, is, you know, that's your opinion. That's all I can say. <laughs> Dow Industrials right now down 183. You can see the failure. The failure happened, man. You know, if you haven't got time in the trade, folks, go to Amazon and get it. This is a, this is a time in the trade market in a monster way. You go into swing points, you either fail or you don't fail. You come back on volume. It's all about price and volume. Dow's down 200, Nasdaq's off 322, S&P's off 51. We'll come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. So Dow. Dow's off at 237. Nasdaq's off 330. S&Ps are off 54. So let's go back to the S&Ps for a second and see. Now what we're going to be looking for, folks, is this. When we started off the show, we're showing the aspect of basically the swing point, volume characteristic, where it's at. So you had the failure. Uh, bottom line, the failure was up here at the, what, 40, 44, 90, 99. We're, we're down 30 points off it. Now, what you do is this. You see, do you remember this? Okay, that, that big bar. So the bar there that it went into was 63,000 contracts. Now, watch what happens. And you got into that with 42. So this is where, okay, so you know that you broke it, and you broke it with lighter volume, okay? What happens is this, is that you can't, well, 
the bigger picture, you have to get the bigger picture first. The bigger picture, my take the bigger picture, we're going downtown. So now we went into that bar. Now what it's going to try to do is this. In order to hit this bottom, okay, you take this 10-minute bar we just finished, which is 42,000. Now, you can see we are going a little bit higher. And I, when I say a little bit higher, we just moved only, f no, we, used, we moved six S&P points from where we just were, right? If this bar has lighter volume than the one we just did, which is 43,000. Let's say this bar comes in about 30,000. Guess what? We're going right after these lows before the close today. That's how, that's how you read this thing. And when you have markets like this, okay, if you day trade, folks, you can make, with discipline, more than you can in any trending market. The most of money, money I ever made in, a day, in day trading was when the market was actually flat. <laughs> and what happened, it was a consolidation. It kept going up and down about 30 or 40 S&P points. And at the end of the day, the market was flat. It was like crazy. But what it was, it was just trading the swing points back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And once you get into that groove, um, you know, and you have to do it for a while. That's my, my, the, only, the only reason you have to do it for a while, folks, is to trust yourself. You, you know, it's great. I can say this, okay? But you have to do it yourself because it's your money. So what I would do, if you're doing it, great, do it yourself. You know, if you're trading the S&Ps, good, get a small contract. If you're trading the SPIs, buy 10 shares just so you can see how the deal works. Because what you have to do is you have to have money in the game. If you don't have money in the game, your head's not going to flip out. Your stomach's not going to flip out. You're not going to act fast enough. Bottom line, you know, buy a share. It doesn't matter. If there's something in the game, it changes the whole context of where you are because then you rely more on the aspect of what you're doing. That, that's the bottom line. And time in the trade is very simple. I, don't, I do the same thing over and over again. That's why I can't even do many workshops, because it's price and volume and swing points at ABCs and Fibonacci numbers. End of story. You know, but guess what? The bottom line is that it's pretty consistent. In fast markets like this, it is absolutely more consistent, and I don't know why. It always has been. When, when you get fast markets, it, it's not a momentum system. See, that, that's the momentum systems are great on the way up. There's no two ways about it. It's, that's where it's at, and, and until the momentum stops. When you have a highly volatile mark, Fibonacci sequence is a much better deal. You know, it, it, listen, that's not much better. It's more consistent. That, that's all I'm trying to say more than anything. Um, you know, so we'll see where this whole thing shakes out. Now let's take a look. Let's go to Microsoft. Okay, so some of these, some of these equities, man, it blows my. I mean, they're getting smoked. And when you see like a Microsoft down eleven dollars like this, now watch what happens. You 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 had highs out here of thirty million shares. Then you tested with twenty four on um, Monday, and you're down what thirty right now? Thirty million. Microsoft's going off right after the swing low again. The swing low is 270, and it very well could be a very large ABC structure down. And on Microsoft's case, let's put this on a weekly, and you'll see what I'm talking about. So you put this on a weekly. Yeah. Oh, man, you put this on a weekly. It's dangerous. Look at this. Because the A point is 349, and the B point is 270. Yeah. That would be, uh, what is it, 7... What did I say? Yeah, 30, 79 points. And the C point is 315. You know, so we're talking about like a 250. What is that? Is that right there? That's 242. Yeah, this thing's coming all the way back, man. That very, more than likely, you're probably setting up a very large ABC structure on the way down. That's kind of how this market's set up. Let's go take, take a look at the big dog out here, Amazon. You got Amazon right now. That's trading up 114 bucks. You have volume behind the move, same type of setup, man. And you know, you get these high volume lows setting up. You know, this bounce was incredible. There's no two ways about it, man. But guess what? That's what happens in my bear market. Bear market bounces are unbelievable, you know? So what you have in Amazon's case, which is pretty cool actually, but you get, See, the last time that we came down here, that you had that high volume low that was laying out there on the weekly. That, that high volume low was 2707. We got down there, and you got down there with 23 million shares versus 20, 
23 verses 24. 23. Oh, that's interesting. 23 verses 24. That's not cool. Okay. It's still in cell light of autumn, but that's saying, guess what? It wants to come right back down there again. So, you know, when you, yeah, you get, you get the gist of it. It's pretty incredible. NVDA, NVIDIA. NVIDIA, you talk about something that's moving, man. This is like moving like beyond belief. NVIDIA, same type of setup. Made a high out here with uh, 48 million chairs. You're coming down with 62 million chairs. These, these bottoms are, are wide open. I mean, they're wide open to get hit. Um, you know, so we will see how this baby shakes out. There's no doubt about it. The um, uh, Home Depot. Home Depot, that's on an ABC structure on the way down. Um, you know, this is, this is still building cars, actually. It's down 750 today, but if we take this and take a look at it, what you're going to see, I'm going to put this on a monthly, actually. It hasn't broke yet on a monthly. Um, with saving it right now, well, it should, it should, it's going to have a lot of support at the 88 mark, 288. That being said, I suspect we're going to be down to like 241. And if we go over to Lowe's and we take a look, look at the same thing, and Lowe's, what do you have with Lowe's? Bottom line, Lowe's is down four bucks. We're trading 200. We get back here. You put this on a monthly also, and we're down from what 283 or 200. This has some support at 186, but more than likely, you know, you're going to be running down to, oh man, I don't even want to say it, like 126 is game, you know. Um, you're, you're talking about some uh, heavy duty moves uh, into lower price, folks. That's, that's the real bottom line. That's how this baby's set up right now. And, you know, the, the Fed, the bottom line is that they're going to start rolling off treasuries and going to start rolling off mortgage-backed securities. You know, so you have two different things that end up happening. What you have is that you have interest rates that are going up and they're going to roll them off. So what the roll-off means is this. So what the Fed has been continually doing, you know, is that as they, as the treasury roll off or the mortgage-backed security rolls off, what ends up happening is that they continue, they were buying, buying, buying back. Now it's just the opposite, folks, okay? Bottom line, they roll them off, they don't buy. So who is the buyer? That's the bottom line. Who is the buyer? Dow Industrials right now are trading down at 167. You get the NASDAQ off 296. S&Ps are off 44. Stay right there. Come back with John from New York. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 171. You get the NASDAQ off 306. S&P's off 46. Let's go back to Microsoft. There's a great question in the den uh, about Microsoft. And what it is is this. Tom, um, let me see it. One second. Yeah, you can get out of the... I'm gonna, we're going to get that dude out of the den. Okay. So haven't, uh, doesn't Microsoft have enough money to maintain its business without having to rely on borrowed money from banks? This is a great question. The reason it's such a great question is this. It doesn't have, the whole market is gonna get repriced, folks, including real estate, okay? The bottom line is that when you have higher rates that are coming in, everything's gonna get repriced. That's, that's what ends up happening in an area where rates are going up and money is getting tighter, okay? So right now, Microsoft's running at about a 31 PE. Microsoft's not gonna be a 31 PE. You're not gonna pay $31 for $1 worth of earnings. That's, that's how that baby shakes out. That's how it shakes out in general, you know, when everything's getting squeezed. Let's go to uh, John in New York. Hey, John, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good. Uh, what are we going to look at? Can you take a look? Do you think it will retest the March lows of 2020? The market? Yeah. No, uh, DSL. Oh, DSL. Okay, so let's see what we have here. DSL. So... DSL, double line income solutions, okay? High income, high current income, secondary objective is to seek capital appreciation, the funds portfolio, sec high income growth. Let me look at this, holdings, okay? So let's see what they have. Come on, give me a holdings. I think Petro Petrobras is one of the holdings. Okay, so these are all bonds. Yeah, you, 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 you don't want this. I, I can look at the chart. I'm going to look at the chart for you. But you don't want to be buying. If you're going to buy bonds, this is it. Well, let me, let me do this one for you, and I'll give you the, the just as to where you want to go here. So this, is down, oh, this has been down big, okay? There's no doubt about that, all right? So, yeah, that's going, yeah, that's going after the low, right, which is 10 bucks. You're at 13.92 right now. Yeah. You know, 10 if, bucks, yeah. Yeah. The, because the uh, March high volume low was at thirteen thirty four, I think. I just had ten. I get ten bucks. That's why I gave you ten. Yeah, let me see. Okay. The if you're looking, one of the best places right now, folks. Okay, they don't. They only allow you. I think it's. They might only allow ten thousand bucks. But guess what? Um, it's a it's a it's a good ten thousand bucks. If you go to U.S. Treasury Direct, what happens is that the I think the the rate right now that you're going to get, I mean, it's almost like five percent. But what happens is that you only you only can, they only allow you to put ten thousand bucks in. But guess what, man? It's you know it's safe money. You know, treasuries uh, treasuries, and you're going to get paid. So that's something to think about. Uh, I wouldn't be buying bond funds, John. What happens with bond funds is this. So picture if you have a bond, folks, you're fine. If you have a bond and you're going to hold the bond to maturity, no problem. You'll make it all the way through the cycle, okay? A bond fund is different because what happens with a bond fund, they're moving stuff out, they're buying stuff in, you get churned up in a monster way, man. Bond funds lose the most amount of money when you're talking bonds inside a higher rate environment because what ends up happening is that all these companies that are coming out, like the one you just gave me, John, 
you can see that these companies, okay, you know, I'll, I'll pull this up and you can see what they're, you know, paying for rates. Well, the newer bonds that come out, they're going to have to pay more. You can see that, okay, you got Petrobras is paying 4.3%. And in general, that's, um, Petrobras should be paying a lot more than that. <laughs> You remember Petrobras, folks, okay, well, they're paying five, five and a half. There we go. Okay, Brazil, that, that must be the, the country of Brazil. Petrobras is paying five and a half. Um, you know, they're going to be paying more the than energy that. business. I'm sorry? It's in the energy business. Oh, I know, I, I know Petrobras very well, and I know Brazil very well, yeah. They're, they're in the energy business. I mean, you remember how corrupt the whole deal was, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Things don't change that quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, when you go when you look back, I mean, and I'm sure you remember this, John, Petrobras was supposed to be the best oil company in the world that they were going to be like insane. And and it's so interesting because I never could understand why that stock kept going down. And then, of course, all of us found out, you know, whether it's 10 years ago, this happened is that was that biggest. It was called they call it the car wash scandal. Um, they were just looting Petrobras left and right, you know, so. Unfortunately, Brazil is a beautiful country, but yeah, they still have a huge amount of problem with, um, you know, corruption. Um, and I don't, you know, have any inside information on that. But the bottom line is that um, they're certainly not like uh, an American company. So you got to be careful, man. Okay. Thank okay, you. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the uh, Dow Industrials. Let's go inside the Dow and see what's uh, working inside the Dow um, versus not working. So we have inside the Dow right now, you got point wise, you have United Health putting 99 points in, Amgen 36. You can see the health business, Johnson Johnson 28. Johnson Johnson's breaking highs. Taken away from it is Microsoft. Microsoft nine, minus 64, Salesforce minus 56. Uh, Goldman Sachs minus 43, that, that make, brings me over to J.P. Morgan because the way these banks are set up, man, every single time, they always claim they have no problems, okay, and no loans and all this. In this particular case, it would be exposure to Russia. And guess what? Why is J.P. Morgan, okay, already basically going after, you know, you're, you're talking about J.P. <laughs> Morgan has already given up from 172 to 131 in an an increase in um, rates. And, you know, if J.P. Morgan gets inside the 118, we're at 131, then, you know, it's game on. And that's game on to the high volume low out there at 76, you know. So, uh, and we take a look at the amount of revenue that they're expecting uh, going forward. Yeah, you can see, you can see this clearly. They're clearly fundamentals. Look, look at these numbers, folks, if you're watching Tiger TV. In 2021, they took in 124, 5.3 billion. In 2022, they're saying 125 billion. So that's the first time that you saw a contraction and rates are going up. Well, why would you have a contraction? You have a contraction, folks, because as the rates are going up, they're gonna find out, everyone's gonna find out who has a bait and suit as the tide goes out. And you're gonna be surprised that Every single time, a lot of people are running around with no bait and suit on. They're squeezed. They're done. The companies are done. They default. And, you know, in this particular case, it's amazing, like, how much money that mostly public companies can get and got, and they weren't even making any money. Now, they're, they're paying an outrageous fee. It blows my mind sometimes, you know, these... These public companies, now, now they don't have these unsecured debts, but they're, some of them are paying like 30, I mean 30, they're paying, you know, 11 and 12 percent for money, you know, and what does that mean? That means that they're paying that to stay alive, folks. Dow Industrials right now down 63, you get the NASDAQ off 258, S&Ps are off 30, come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secure investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow Industrials right now down 113. Nasdaq's off 290. S&P's are off 39. Uh, we had a question about Ma Bell. Ma Bell was splitting T, and you know what would you do with it? You know, if you want to hide somewhere for a few years, folks, Ma Bell's not a bad place to hide. It's always had a big dividend. It's 4.61 as a dividend. Not a bad place to hide. You got to find somewhere to hide, man. That's that's the bottom line. And uh, there was a question about J.P. Morgan. Is that the worst of the bigger banks? It actually is the best of the bigger banks. That's wh that's why I look at it. Okay, it's a good, it's a very well-run bank, um, but the money is saying that guess what? There's going to be default. Well, there's always defaults. You, if, there's always defaults, folks. Okay, so picture something. The, this is how the banking system works. The banking system, if, if the banking system works, they got all our money. Then they leverage it ten to one. They're going to lend it out. And then when things get bad, you know, the, 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 the bottom line, if you remember what happened in 2007, 2008, you know, they basically profitize. Well, the, the profits go to them. The losses come to us. If we learned anything, okay, about banking in general, okay, why would you not take risk beyond belief? Because the big banks know that they are not going to go out of business because the feds have to come in and save them or the whole thing goes south. So picture it. Once you get that down pat, it's pretty easy, man. You know, the bottom line, run it out, run it out, run it out. You know, the profits come in, great. They make money, the profits don't come in. Guess what? Knock on the door to good old U.S. taxpayers. Here we come. We're coming in again, baby. We need some more money. 
Volume light out here today is going to be big, folks, okay? So the, you get the volume happening. If we take a look at the NYSE, we're at 719. This will do about 1.2 billion. And the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ's going to be a monster, man. But the NASDAQ, you're already at 4.6 billion. We were at 4.6 yesterday. This is going to be coming at about 5.2 billion. That's, that's how this uh, baby is shaking out. We go to the Qs. We take a look at the Qs. All the ETF, not all yeah, the ETF structures, you're going to have lower lows with volume. Look at this, 84 million, man. They can't get out fast enough, okay? Pretty wild. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. He kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Look at him, folks.